Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. As you can see right now, Israel is striking in the heart of Beirut. They have leveled an entire block using JDAM bombs, bunker busters in Beirut, Lebanon, leveling an entire neighborhood. No telling the number uh, that have been killed and the death toll thus far. Uh, it is staggering. Uh, and there have been 10 of these bombs that have been dropped from the reports that we're getting right now uh, out of the Middle East there. In fact, the situation has is, is really gone to a place to where even um, the Syrian president, Bashar al-Assad, uh, has also come out and said <laughs> that Syria is going to do all they can to help their brothers in Lebanon, their Lebanese brothers, he says there. Uh, this clearly will bring about the Isaiah prophecy that Damascus will become a ruinous heap. Uh, and clearly, as I've said many times before, that prophecy also comes with a stark warning to both Israel and the Zionists that are backing them. It is a crime in the mind of God Almighty himself to bring down Damascus. Uh, but it's going to happen without a doubt there. But now President Bashar al-Assad meeting with his own cabinet members there, uh, discussing with them, this was on the 24th there, what they can do now to help and to assist the Lebanese in, in every way possible uh, to deal with Israel, the Zionist enemy, as he puts it there, the crimes of the Zionist, I should say, as he put it there. Uh, it's also believed that this man right here, uh, Mr. Abbas Nilforashan, the deputy commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, uh, was also killed in the blast by Israel. Uh, there are reports. Uh, this here is also some of the images there that uh, were, were seen there, as you can see. Massive, massive explosion there that went deep into the ground there, uh, killing no telling how many people in that explosion. That, uh, that entire area there was totally wiped out from the explosion, from the bombs that were being dropped there. Uh, and as you can see, Israel not just dropping uh, one bomb there, but multiple bombs at one time trying to make sure they penetrated the ground where Nasrallah's headquarters was at so that they could, uh, their, their ultimate goal is killing Nasrallah. Uh, there are already those that are saying, though, that killing Nasrallah will clearly expand the conflict much wider than it already is. Uh, that it will actually go to a full-scale regional war there. Uh, according to Israeli intelligence, they claim that Nasrallah is dead. Uh, that's what their claim is. Let's My closing now. comment, Brennan, is that uh, an update is that our military have advised or rather have uh, reported to our, to our uh, journalists that they believe that Nasrallah has been eliminated. It looks like he's been taken out. What a wonderful day. Yay. To pass them off. We can have a show. So that's what we're hearing on that end there. We'll continue to listen in a little bit here with Al Jazeera. They everything they do, including massive killing, massive destruction, to ensure the protection of, of their Jewish sovereign state. They don't care about anything else. They'll burn the whole Middle East as long as Israel remains intact. And this is okay. possibly something might happen with their nuclear weapons. So we'll have to just wait and see if they're tempered at some point. All right, uh, Rami Khoury, uh, that distinguished fellow at American University of Beirut, uh, live for us uh, in Boston, Massachusetts. Rami, always good to have you with us here um, during these times, specifically during these times on Al Jazeera. Rami, we'll no doubt talk to you a little bit later. For the time being, thank you. Let's bring in um, Oliver Marsden. He's live for us in the Lebanese capital. Oliver, so for our viewers who are just joining Al Jazeera now in the early hours of the morning uh, here, just bring us up to date on the timeline and the events of what's been happening overnight. Right, so there has been a new wave of airstrikes across the southern suburbs of 
Dahye, Hadaf, Lelaki, uh, the southern suburbs of Beirut, these very densely populated areas. This started at about 6.30, 7pm with a huge airstrike, uh, multiple bunker-busting missiles fired upon the Dahye, the southern suburb of Beirut. Israeli military sales targeting its central command center of Hezbollah. Uh, there has been no official word from Hezbollah on that. Uh, we are not able to independently verify that. We have not been able to get down there because there has been wave after wave of airstrikes hitting the capital, hitting this very densely populated area. And this has caused a sort of mass displacement of people from the area. They've been moving out of Dahye. Uh, we've seen uh, footage of people ex trying to, the sort of exodus of people through the streets. Um, I've spoken to uh, one guy on the phone. He, he was a few doors down from that initial strike and he uh, told me that he was grabbing his passport, his papers, he was leaving his house, he, and then he suddenly was telling me how he couldn't find his sister out in the, uh, in the chaos. He did eventually find her. And now we're hearing reports that people have left uh, the Dahi, left the southern suburbs. They're trying to find refuge on Ramlet El Baido, which is the public beach here in Lebanon. Uh, there's been a call out for mattresses, for um, sleeping bags for tents so people can sleep. And we're also hearing that there's uh, hundreds, if not thousands of people in Martyrs Square, the center of Beirut, um, just trying to find refuge for the night, somewhere safe. And, and I What a shame, what a shame to see that. Uh, by the way, one other thing real quick not far here. From where I'm standing now, I've just seen a family. Uh, uh, today, when uh, Netanyahu was speaking at the UN General Assembly, massive walkouts while he spoke at the UN Assembly there at, uh, or excuse me, uh, the uh, yeah, United Nations Assembly there in New York uh, City. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Please don't forget to support our program, but you can especially support us by visiting patreon.com. Our website there, we're doing in-depth uh, coverages every week now on different subjects there. And Saturday, tomorrow, we'll be having on our special guest, Colonel Greg. And Colonel Greg will air on Patreon for the first couple of days. And hopefully, maybe even some in-depth insight that we've not discussed before that will become a Patreon exclusive. So join our Patreon channel, patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. And you can uh, see that there. And then also don't forget IsraeliNewsLive.org. Uh, I know that Yana is going to be writing another uh, post before long, but the open letter to the five docs, uh, definitely take the time to read it. I see more people are commenting, 31 comments so far, and share it far and wide. God bless you and thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.